Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can automatically colour up these tasks depending on what type of resource is allocated to them. Now this won't work for every sort of project, but in this project where you've got a staggered set of tasks with one resource on each, one type of resource on each task, it will work. Now what we have to do is create some custom tasks types in here. So if I double click on this white bit, or you can go across to format, the Gantt chart format and there, bar styles, whichever you want to do, I'm going to double click. When you double click, you get this coming up and these are all the symbols that you're going to see in this bar style. If I come down to the bottom, I want to create three and I'm going to use the flag feature. So I want the three types of resource, so plumber, so just type plumber there, I want joiner, and I want electrician. So electrician. So this is going to use flag one, that's going to use flag two, and this is going to use flag three. Select it from there. Now obviously they're all the same colour at the moment, so if I just click on this one, uh, let's say that if a plumber is allocated, I want it automatically to go to that colour. If an, a joiner is allocated, we'll go green. And an electrician, we'll go some other colour, that one. So that's the colour. Now you can also do the um, start and end shapes if you so wish, but I'm just going to so you could pick an end or a start in this case and colour that one up. So just red and then I'll just do it on this last one. You can see it coming in there. So shape, end shape, colour, red. So that's what that one's going to look like. So there's the three columns of information that I want. Click OK to that. Now I need to insert those columns. So a new column. Type F for flag, flag one, new column F, flag two, new column F, flag three. So if I double click on flag one, I can call that plumber. Flag two was joiner, double click on that, type joiner, and at three was electrician. electrician so basically what you have to do with this is set these to yes if it's if it applies so this one's got a plumber yes it changes color this task has got a joiner yes joiner that's plumber no joiner yes and this one has got a electrician yes so then they color up in the same color scheme as that you set like so, and then you just repeat the process. So plumber, yes, joiner, yes, and then electrician, all the way down, yes, yes. Now obviously if you've got multiple resources on a task, this isn't going to work. For single resources like this, where things have to be done in order or a sequence, it will work and you can automatically colour it up like so. So now if I just pull that back across so you can see the Gantt chart. So this is a longer project, a lot more builds. You've got the whole colour scheme there. You can see it quite clearly. And if you want, you can save this layout table. If I go to the View tab, Tables, and Save Fields as a new table, so I'll call this table flags, so I know what it is. Click OK, and then that will sit in this list, flags. So you've still got the option of going back to the entry table, which is this. And then on the entry table, you can get rid of those three columns by just highlighting them, deleting them, because you've now got a new table called flags, which will bring them back and allow you to use the yes, no fields 
if you so wish you can bring these in a little bit taking quite a lot of space at the minute so just double click on the dividing lines to bring those in and there you go now same with this one as well you don't have to have it expanding too far so keep it quite tight and then you've got your automatic colored tasks so for those of you that do these type of projects hopefully that video was of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you in the next one